coming to a very well-lit room with another alchemy bench. Okay. <laughs> what the f- Pretty brutal. That was really pretty damned brutal. Yes, it was. Should I? Should I have seen that one coming? Maybe. Was that? Was there a mechanism I could have spotted? Probably. Right. Human flesh. Oh dear. Frost salts. Human heart. Right, right. This looks like it's an area designed to have, well, some red liquid flowing. From here to somewhere else. Not seeing any signs of more traps. I'm with you. Okay. That definitely a trap. I'm not sure my heart can take this much more. <sighs> okay. Continuing on. Very, very carefully. Very, very carefully. You know, there's paranoia, and then there's this. Really? That's not what I wanted. That's, I just want to... Okay, I'm hearing... Skeletal footsteps. I'm almost in a panic that some undead creature will see us and then come running forward and activate a trap that impales us. Stay. Okay. Don't take too long. Okay. That's a lot of red. Yep, that's a lot of red. I'm thirsty. Okay. Why am I stuck? Really? A skeleton can walk easily up. Are you two not going to continue on your merry way? Apparently not. Nope, 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 nope. Apparently not. I was, I was going to try and... Yes. Okay, I thought she'd heard me for a second. Oh, right, that was that was a vampire's thrall. And okay then. So we've got chest. There you are. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't. I didn't do a very good job. It's a mist walker. Aren't they the sneaky vampires? Sorry about that. I should have been... Oh, it's a fire. For a second, I thought it was a pair of eyes. Yeah, I, I, I do apologise. I should have done a slightly more thorough job of... Uh, 
making sure we were alone enough for the old um, light and loot. Scaled armor of conjuration. Journal, the Nars Vulpins Research. 19th of Second Seed. Thanks to the more sordid past of some of my underlings, we found a way to add the waters of the blood spring into the process for turning moon sugar to skooma. Ah. It's far more potent and highly addictive. We've turned the basement into a den and sent out some of the locals with samples to lure people back, turning the disappointment of the spring into a ready supply of blood. We're calling it Redwater Skooma. In case any of the patrons happen to notice water in any of the corners, I found many ruined books in the chambers connected to the spring and will continue to study them for a way to drink the waters without the side effects. Morthal appears to become... Mortals appear to become infected with all manner of disease while vampires gain power, but only for a short while. Many of the books I found are but tattered shreds, ruined by the ages and moisture, but I've pieced together the origin of the spring, if little else. It used to be a spring sacred to Arche in the first era, headed by the priest Lengeir. I'm glossing over much that isn't of interest to my search, but it would seem that the woman he was in love with was bitten and turned into a vampire, and subsequently turned him as well. They went on a rampage through the spring and killed the other priests as they cowered in the pool, praying for Arke's protection. And as we tore the spine, last priestess took the viscera into the bloodstone chalice, waters ran red forevermore. Perhaps this bloodstone chalice is the answer. Weeks of research and still nothing to show for it. It would seem that the bloodstone chalice is most likely the key to harnessing the power of the spring, but it is also clear that at some point it was removed from the ruins. I found an illustration of it which I have endeavoured to sketch here, but nothing else regarding where it may have ended up. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty, well, ugly, actually, isn't it? However, doesn't that mean... Ooh, hello. Just, I don't want to take the bowl. You know what? Take the bowl. Just take the bowl. You can drop the bowl later on. I mean, doesn't that mean it's not here? Which probably means we're going to have to wander off somewhere else. Which is... Just a little disappointing. Okay, let's just check around for anything of interest. Other than a door leading onwards. Well, these fires are... They have a very eerie sort of glow that's difficult to to distinguish. Never should have come here. Oh! What the? Okay. You can't hide from me. Damn you. Who is this? Vanera's Vulpin. Fire! That name sounds familiar. Did I? Okay. I am doing... Benares Vulpin. Isn't that the, the, the journal I just read? Is that not just the... the Is that guy hidden here the entire time? Yeah. Okay. So where... Was... Was he there the entire time? Just... Okay. Do you remember how I said that I needed to be slightly more thorough? I need to be a lot more thorough is a, is, is a, a better plan, I think, because uh, that's the second vampire that's crept up on us. 
I say crept up on us. That's the second vampire who was stood completely still in the dark. And I didn't notice. All right, you know what? I'm not even asking what you're doing. I've decided it's an inigo thing. And that I probably... I... Oh, yeah. In a go. In a go, in a go, in a go. Come on. Uh, I found... Someone. I want you... To just stay... In fact, no. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bring you in. This is, uh... One of the... Big guys. Vampire lords. You stay here. Okay. Do not take too long. I'm just going to see if I can get around the back of him. So that I can bury Merun's razor in his back. What did I just say? Don't take chances. Are there any hidden vampires? Oh, you're still invisible. Nice. I'm not seeing. Don't push me. Okay, nobody reacted to that. So, where is, is the chalice? Her, her, my apologies. Right. Oh, God. Was this an ancient vampire? Okay, well. Do you know the weird thing? There's actually a place for that in the museum, I believe. Okay. Okay, we've, we've done it. We've got... We've got the vampire artifact and some other things for the museum. I don't know where this is going to lead out, but I'm hoping it's a shortcut. This... Does this look like a... We've been here, yes? No. No, we've not. Let's check the Draugr. And... You know... Coins are coins! I may have a quarter of a million back at the museum. But that doesn't mean a quarter million and a few more isn't a good idea. I'm just, I'm really paranoid now. I'm stepping to the side just in case. Okay. Okay, where the... Where is this coming? Out. Oh, it's ba okay. In a go. Try to ignore. Try to ignore all the temptations. Just, just, just focus. Focus on my voice. Follow me. Follow me. You're fine. You're fine. We're fine. We're out of here. Okay. I'll admit it, I'm a little worried about you. I am. 
You've not touched your sweet rolls. You've still got... Everything okay? No, everything is not okay. What is mine is yours. You've still got four sweet rolls. I'm now carrying 23, and I've left a load of sweet rolls back at the museum. Are you carrying too much? Is that what it is? Are you just too tired to snack on sweet rolls? Because we're on a grand sweet rolling. I love it here. I know, I know. It's, it's very nice. I like it, actually. But look, we're on a grand sweet roll of Skyrim. We've only got two places left, Windhelm and Winterhold. But... I've been looking for... What? You. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I'm sorry they've turned... What? Get out of my house! I was gonna say, is my house delivering mail to me now? Get! Out! Where is my... Where is my house, Carl? I'm sorry, I realise you're some demonic creature with untold power and apparently a somewhat loose idea of what hair should do. But you cannot just walk into my place. Where... People are just Long wandering in and out. Spain. Wandering. Good to see you. <sighs> Until next time. Well, I feel so secure in my abode. I realize there's not a lot you could do to stop him. He is the courier after all, but I mean, really, really. On my way. Uh, I have pins and needles. What was I saying? Yeah, no, look, seriously. I'm worried because, well... I, I feel like sweet rolls are your, um, your comfort food, shall we say. Comfort substance. And if you're not having sweet rolls... I'm worried because we've just come from a drug den, okay? I'm a little worried. I'm not judging. I'm not. We're going to continue on... The sweet roll of Skyrim. Even if you're not taking them now, I'm sure you'll uh, reacquire the urge. But before we before we head off, we've we've got to uh, to head to Solitude. I need to restock, and we need to drop a lot of these items off. I mean, my potions are actually running very very low. But before we do that. Let's just go and tell Florentius... Am I saying his name right? That we found the relic. So that he can start looking for more relics. Really is very misty today. Morning! Ridiculously misty. Let's hope this clears up. I'm in the mood for a bright, sunny day. Out of curiosity. We're coming to the end of Rain's Hand. I'm hoping the weather starts to get a little nicer. I completely forgot, in my irritation with the courier, I totally forgot that he delivered another letter from Isran. To our saviour, Florentius has informed me that you have successfully secured the vampire artifacts. I cannot thank you enough. Florentius has been experimented with an enchantment he himself invented, which he calls Solar Flames. From what I can tell, it combines the power of the sun with flames. Gee, I could never have guessed that. In essence, it is every vampire's worst nightmare. He has just successfully bestowed his enchantment on a crossbow. And I... And I felt this would be more than suitable report, reward for your help. Did that courier give me a cross? Did he give me a crossbow? And I was, I was so... He did! Crossbow of Sunfire burns the target for 30 points. Targets on fire take extra damage. 10 points of sun damage. Undead targets take triple damage. Okay, it's not a dwarven crossbow though, is it? 
I mean, I'm sure we could probably get this improved, and it does 30 points of burning damage, which is nice. But honestly, I think the Dwarven Crossbow punches through armor. I think. Or the, is it the enhanced one? I think it's the enhanced one punches through armor. And let's face it, whenever we're fighting using a crossbow, it's against a dragon. And I think all that really matters is getting through its scaly armor and delivering the poison. I mean, a little bit of extra fire damage wouldn't go amiss, but I suspect a lot of dragons are somewhat flame-proof anyway got myself in the habit of coming this way. So, so she stopped shooting. Well, of course she has. Of course she has. Now that I'm going the other way, she's decided it's not as much fun shooting there. Have you lost something? No? Okay. Never mind. Florentius! Arke has been watching over me for years now. He says he's not too sure about you yet, though. Yeah, 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 you keep saying that. I've retrieved the Dawn Guard rune shield from Kagranzel. Well done. I said you'd return victorious. RK wasn't so sure. Wield it bravely. Right. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else I can do to help? Speak with Gunmar. He has something for you. Gunmar. Gunmar. Right. RK, bless you, friend. Gunmar. Why are you using the alchemy table? I mean, aren't you a smith? You know what? Cozy little place, isn't this? Uh, right, is there something you need me to do? I've located the whereabouts of a vampire masquerading as a common citizen. Um... Track him down and dispose of him. A travel... Tread lightly. The law is unaware of the danger. He will treat you as a criminal if you are caught. I do not get caught. What is the vampire doing, do you know? Vampires enjoy stalking their prey. Passing among us undetected emboldens them, makes them feel powerful, untouchable. But we'll put a swift end to that. We. We. We will... The light be with you. <laughs> Good grief, I hope not. Well, not unless I really need it. Okay, um... Let's purchase hope you're getting along a with these few ones. bolts. Thanks for some getting used... Where did you get a rare vol... You know what? I don't care. I do not care where you got it from. I'm taking it. The weather is clearing up a little. It could actually... Oh, it could go either way, really. It could be a pleasant day, or it could end up raining. Let's get to solitude. Dump all of this stuff, restock the uh, the potions and the poisons, and speak to Orion and see if he's got any other information regarding the amulet and the shield. Yeah, we can also check in with the explorers and see how they are doing as well. Oh, remind me, take books to Latoria. I'm not saying I want to do the long walk of the looter. In fact, considering the weather seems to have been listening and decided to ruin my day, I'm glad we don't. I'm just saying, I feel kind of like we're breaking with tradition. You know, it's like we've, we've managed to find a way for both of us to be able to carry everything just without being overloaded, which is brilliant. It's efficient. It's great. It's a good sign oh, that we can carry more. But, you know, it is a tradition. Sort of feel like we're, we're, we're letting the side down. Whoa. Okay, we've been away for a while and the money has been rolling in. Orion! Oh! My friend, I have some incredible information about the relics to share with you. Is now a good time? Uh, sure. 
Yeah, d absolutely. Yes, I can sit and talk. Then please, come have a seat and we'll talk. Okay. Where? Where, where, where are we going? Do you need a hand? D well, I am just so genuinely happy to see him when, when, when we come in here now. When, oh, right, we're going this way. I am just so happy that everyone's back. It, I know they probably want to go on more digs, but I am so... Okay, you want to sit? Okay, do I just, do I just sit here? Okay. Hi. Good day. Anything new? Oh yes, I have in fact been researching the location of an artifact of interest. If you have the time, you could investigate it. Okay. I'll mark the location on your map. Let me know if you uncover anything. Right. Mm. That's delicious. Ah, what? Where, where to begin? How familiar are you with Ismir, Dragon of the North? Greetings. Ismir! So, no, no, no! What, what was that? What was that about Ismir? Hmm? I'm having trouble locating the artifact. No, I'm not. Farewell. Okay. You wanted me to come and sit down to talk about something, and then you <laughs> talked about Ismir. What? Farewell. What happens if I sit here? Am I sitting in the wrong place? Am I supposed to be at head of the table? Okay, come on. Come on. What's next? Very simple. You keep doing what you're doing and stop in here from time to time if you find anything interesting. Have a look around and find the spot to display. Well, in addition to displaying the spoils of your adventures, I will commission and build exhibits. Yeah, 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 I know all this. You're not telling me anything I don't know. Anything of Do you know what? Consequence can be don't tell this the wrong way, but, but, I, whoa. Ah, good. Well, where to begin? How familiar are you with Ismir, Dragon of the North? Okay, I'll be with you in a second. Look, I know I said I was worried that you weren't eating sweet rolls, but now you're eating them a little too fast. Maybe you've just... Okay, you know what? You knock yourself out. Ah, uh, if you want to eat all four right now, you knock yourself out. Sorry, you were talking about... I'm very confused here because, because first of all, you didn't want to talk to me. Now you want to talk to me. I've heard the name. Well, it's actually more of a title than an actual person, as it turns out. Many feats achieved in the first two eras were attributed to Ismir. When, in fact, they were achieved by several people who held the title at one time or another. The two most prominent references, in fact, were Tybus Septum and High King Wolfhar, who lived at the same time. And many of their accounts were often interchanged. Okay. Other than the title itself, they were both considered to be Dragonborn, though there have been no accounts of Wolfhar actually using the voice. More importantly is the role that the Amulet of Kings plays, and Alessa herself. Upon her death, Alessa's soul was bound to the Amulet, and the covenant with Akatosh was made. All of her line to follow would bear the name Dragonborn, and hence be bound by the covenant. It seems it is a much broader interpretation of the title, but it seems to connect. Raymond Cyrodiil was of Alessian lineage, and that's why the Shards react to the shield. I've also done further research into the prophecy of the Dragonborn, and it's led to connections with the Nerevarine lost prophecy, oddly enough. It reads, From the seventh sign of the eleventh generation, neither hound nor gua, nor seed nor harrow, but Dragonborn and far star marked. This clearly depicts the Nerevarine as Dragonborn, I believe, and the key relic for the reincarnated Nerevar is Azura's moon and star ring which would kill all others but the Nerevarine. I think the ring would be a key to proving some of these theories, if we could manage to find it. Okay, the only thing I got from that that made any sense is there's a ring and it's a relic. Everything else was like Nerevarine, Dragonborn, Alessia, blah, blah, blah stuff. Uh, I was trying to follow, I promise. Could you write it down so I could sort of read it in, in small portions and absorb it? Because that sounded like a lot of information condensed into a very short form, yeah? Um, but yeah, of course I'll try and find it, of course. I would first try to locate Asura's shrine and see if you can find any sign of its fate there. Okay. I'll research and try to discover what came of it after the destruction of Dagoth Ur. Okay, right. Okay, 
So we, we've got to go to... Well, I've, I've already found Azura's shrine. Indigo, I think Orion would like to pass. Oh, yeah, he, he, he definitely wants to get past. The storm is passing. Oh, well, that's typical, isn't it? Now that we've done all of our traveling and we're pretty much in for the rest of the evening, well, it's, it's still afternoon, but we're not going anywhere. Now that we're not going anywhere, the rain stopped. That's typical, isn't it? Maybe we can go out, have some food, grab some drinks later on. Might as well take advantage of the improved gear. Oh, good. You're back. We've been working long hours planning the next venture, but I think it will be well worth it, and we're just about ready. Okay. Our next expedition will be the ruins of Urkund, a Dwemer site in the mountains southwest. Urkund. It's rather cold, so it's best we dress warm. There is no clear entrance to the ruins, but from what Madras and I have been discussing, we think we may have a few leads on how to get in. As always, we would certainly appreciate your expertise as well, Guildmaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Urkund. See, I would have said Rukund, but you're the expert. Urkund. Okay, um, yeah, southwest of Riften. Dwemer ruin, you say? Not, not a Nordic one. Dwemer ruin. Southwest of Riften. Okay, yes, count me in, of course. Excellent. We'll pack up now and head out. Oh. Meet us there when you can. Oh. And we'll try to get a head start on the deal. Yeah. Oh, okay. But before you do, before you do, before you do. Staying out of trouble? Uh, yeah. Any developments? Good to see you, Guildmaster. Ready to get underway for the final field station? Y oh, the final one. Yes. What did you have in mind? On the east side of the Great Mountain, there is a crossroad between the Rift, East March, and White Run. An excellent opportunity for us to act as a bit of a way station and trading post between them. Okay. Especially given the conflicts between Right Run and Windhelm. It's just to the west of Fort Amol. Fort Amol, I know that. There is no conflict anymore, but yeah, sounds good. I'll get the supplies. Wonderful. In addition to regular 100 lumber, 40 blocks of stone and 20 slabs of clay like before, we are also going to need 2,000 gold. Really? To pay East March's tax. With the war and everything, it's no surprise. The war's over. The war is over! The war is... Fine, I've got the gold. Just, just... Yes, here it is. Thank you, as always, Guildmaster. I can see to it that the Jarl's tax was paid. Excellent. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's fine. Oh, God, before you guys all leave, I need to speak to... Good day, oh, I can't send you out for jobs either, can I? Uh, have you discovered anything interesting in the books? Yes, in fact, Latoria was able to decipher some tomes which yielded some interesting spell scrolls. Here are a few she made for you. I do apologize for Inigo standing right behind you. That must be very intimidating. Staying okay, um, and also, I have some more ruined books for you. Ah, excellent. Let's see what you have found. Ebony ah, flesh, good, good. ebony flesh. It will take some time to decipher It's an interesting these. idea. Come back tomorrow, and Latoria will let you know what she has found. I, I have a feeling you won't be here tomorrow. Okay, who else is there? You... Ooh, have you guys been... Good day, Gilgrath. Nice! We've got some fragments. It was... Uh, it was... Good to see you out there. Yes, it was. Hey, Gannibal, how you doing? Hope you're having a good time. Right, we'll check in with you in a second. Um... We're going to... Mmm, yummy. There goes my last sweet roll. Well, well, I enjoyed our time together. We're missing one. We're missing the man with the uh, ocular enhancements. Right, so you've had all of those sweet rolls. You know, I'm not judging, definitely. In fact, I am quite happy. How is the day treating you? It, it's good. It's Oh! Is Madras still out somewhere? That... Okay, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, I, I'm not totally sure there was anything I would need to talk to him about, but... Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Place set. I've got... No, no. What I was trying to do was actually open the trophy case. Right, what have we got now? We've got Dino's bottomless pack. We've got... 
Alexis Key. We're still missing a few. I really wish this display was in the museum. It looks pretty good, and it would be a very good talking place. This is the uh, the, the cabinet that contains tools of old explorers that found many, many relics, etc. You know, you could really ham it up. It's hidden away in here. We don't actually let the public in here, do we? I do hope not. That's sort of... Well, I just do hope not. Okay, let's see what you've got for sale. Well, that's completely revolting. Mind you, so are these. Which probably means it'll be very popular with the public because they do like to be disgusted somewhat. Okay, we've got another lead. We have another lead in a go. Something near to the Braidwood Inn. Where on earth is the Braidwood Inn? Oh, Kynes Grove. Okay, there is apparently an interesting flute. Inigo, what are you doing? Oh, oh, you're studying hard too. Have you found anything? Well, no worries. Uh, let's get ourselves Lead the way, my friend. restocked and ready for travel. We're going to be leaving first thing in the morning. You were born to sit there. Uh, thanks? I think? Okay, I've done it! In I go! I believe I have it! I can now... Detect life! Okay, it's... it's a con... In I go! I can see you! I can see you through the wall and... I can see that you're sitting. You're sitting! Oh my god. I don't just know where living things are. I know whether they're standing, sitting, lying. I can actually see what they're doing. I... Okay. I've just had one of the worst premonitions of my life. It's up to you, really. We're not heading out until the morning, so we can either go to the inn and grab food there, or we could just make something here. We've got tons of food, actually. Pretty much, you can have anything you want. Why do I know the recipe for dragon pie? Dragon pie, oh my, oh my, it's a tasty dish you really should try. Dragon pie, oh my, oh my, our dishes are empty, a dragon must die. Yeah, we don't have snow thrush eggs. Wait, were those the, were those the things? Were those the eggs in the nests around Langley's house? Yeah, I, I think I'd almost rather kill a dragon than go back there looking for eggs, so, uh... I'm afraid it's, uh, probably going to be like tomato soup. Oh, no, we're out of tomatoes as well. I know, I know we haven't finished sweet rolling Skyrim yet, but I want to nip off to Riften and get this dig started. If we can get it started, just check it out, make sure it's safe. The explorers can do, well, their thing, and we can go off and finish the sweet rolling. We actually only have... Winterhold and Windhelm left. And conveniently enough, we have a lot of things to do in those places as well. We really do. We've got a lot of things to do around this swamp, including building the Eastern Field Station. Right, there is a dragon flying around here. We may need to deal with that dragon as well. Yeah, um, but for now, I'm thinking we head off to Riften and we just join the excavation at... What did he say? Was it Rakund or something? Urkund. He said Urkund, didn't he? Is that how you say it? Do you think that's how you really say it? Urkund? No, I don't know either. 
It is strangely close to the ruin we saw, but the ruin we saw was a Nordic ruin, and we're going to a Dwemer dig site. Oh, uh, well. Okay, anyway, so let's be on our way. Time to go, eh? Oh! Okay. I totally forgot. Sweet rolls. Mm hmm. You. Sure. Ate them all last night. You did. You let. You ate every one of them. I'm oddly pleased about that. It 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 just feels like normality has. What's next? Resumed. Although it really does worry me that this is the definition of normality. 